Simon, it's a common misconception that hypermill is just used for five axis simultaneous machining. That's not the case, is it? No, it's not, Paul. I mean, we, yes, we are very powerful in the area of five axis, but if we look at a more simpler part, less complex, hypermill offers an entry level solution as well. So for something as simple as this, you, you, can, you can program using your software? Oh yes, absolutely. Um, not only is it affordable, but it's also very easy to use. And parts like this can be programmed very easily. So uh, even if you're only just doing a bit, of, bit of milling and a bit of drilling and a bit of tapping, contouring? Perfect. It's, it's, you know, we find that the customers, uh, when they purchase Hypermill, we've got a partner for life because they'll never outgrow Hypermill. As their demands grow for more advanced level uh, of tool pass, then they can obviously upgrade to, to a more complex module of Hypermill, but they can start at the entry level cam and still get the job done on the more simpler parts. Because what's interesting here is we're gonna look at two parts. That's the first one. You wanna pick yeah. up the second one because I, I, I find this one a very interesting component. You don't, don't see many parts like this. and. Maybe I wouldn't associate this with being programmed using Hypermill, but again, that's wrong. Well, this was actually a, 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 an aircraft um, rail, seat, seat rail, um, and it was programmed um, using Hypermill. But as you can see from this, it doesn't use any complex five axis strategies, but what it has done, it's picked out all of the features on this part. And this was programmed in about a day, but the machining time, both top and bottom for this, was actually 40 minutes. So although it's not using complex five-axis strategies, what it is, what Hypermill did allow us to do was pick out the features automatically and using quite simple tool pass, get the part do job done in less than 40 minutes. So is it, do you find it difficult to educate engineers to this that might be machining components like this with lots of features on them and they might be thinking, I need to do this at the control, I need to do this you know, on my machine. Well, they don't, do they? No, they don't. I mean, uh, you know, the misconception is definitely that so more simple parts, it's quicker to do it on the control. It's absolutely not. And as you know, Paul, it's, it's, it, the, the risk of human error is much greater whilst programming on a machine tool. And that can be very costly. Control. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Paul.